In this part, we want to look at the compression capacity check. Compression member is a member subjected to the load tending to decrease their length. You can see the direction of the load in this picture. In AS4100, there are two compression uh, strength checks required. The first one is section capacity check, and the second one is member capacity check. Section capacity is defined by NS, which is the strength of the member cross-section and is usually the governing formula for very short columns. The governing formula here is N star has to be less than or equal to phi N S. N star is our design action, which is our axial load applied on the member from analysis. And phi is a reduction factor, uh, which we can get from a relevant table from AS4100. You can see that in the next few slides. And um, as you can see, phi N S is equal to phi K F. A N F Y, uh, K F is form factor, A N is net area of cross section, and F Y is yield stress. You can see in our practical example how we can get each one of these factors. Um, member capacity is defined as N C, which is sex, uh, a strength of the member influenced by buckling effects due to a slenderness of the member. The governing formula here is N star has to be less than or equal to phi N C. As you can see, the formula is very similar to section capacity check, but the difference is we have an extra factor of um, alpha C, which is a reduction factor, which is looking at um, buckling effects. This alpha C is usually less than or equal to 1. Now let's look at tension check requirements. Tension members are the members subjected to the loads tending to elongate their lengths. In AS4100, nominal section capacity for a tension member or NT shall be taken as the minimum of these two formulas. The first one, NT is equal to AGFY, AG is gross area of the section, and FY is yield stress. The second formula, NT is equal to 0.85 kt an fu kt is correction factor an is net area of the cross section and fu is tensile strength there is a very important point to make in here if the member were subject to the load given by phi an fu then it could be expected to sudden fracture so this additional factor of 0.85 applied in the second formula is due to the fact that there is no reserve of any kind beyond ultimate resistance. Another point to make is that when you are making a selection between different steel types, uh, you have to pay attention that which formula is governing. For example, if you are choosing 300 open section, the first formula would be governing, which is good. But if you choose C450 tube, then the second formula will be governing. 